Congratulations in yesterday's ranking in the USA Today poll. You were 15th in the nation here in preseason. Does that set a little expectation at Providence College? Uh, you know, possibly, but uh, overall, I mean, uh, I was more impressed that we had five teams from the league ranked in the preseason poll, the top 15 in the country. I mean, that's, that's pretty impressive. So essentially, we could be an NCAA tournament team and, uh, and also finish fifth in your league is what you're saying, what the poll is basically saying. But overall, I mean, you can't put a lot into those polls. I mean, the game's played on the ice. We know that. We were picked to uh, finish last uh, a couple years ago. Um, and I asked the guys then, you know, not to put anything into it. So I'm not going to uh, turn around and say this means anything. Uh, the game's played on the ice. It's two teams competing against one another, and, and you really have to make sure that you're bringing your A game every night. And you have seven new freshmen coming in this season for you. What are they going to have to do in order to step up and get some playing time on the ice? Well, we, you know, we return a young team. I mean, we're, we're going to have 20, uh, 20 freshmen and sophomores on our team. So. Um, you know, really, we need all those guys to, to grow up quick. You know, like uh, I use the analogy of uh, being a baby dinosaur or being a T Rex. You know, we need T Rexes. We need mean guys. We need guys that grow up quick. We need that killer instinct right away. We don't. We don't have a lot of time to uh, to teach the guys or or to you know basically pull that out of the guys. They need to have that right away and be ready to compete. And you're going into your third season as head coach here at Providence College. You've gotten to go to the two hockey East consecutive back-to-back -back championship games here. Can you talk a little bit about what it's been like getting to hockey East, getting to the finals, and what you're going to have to do this year to make it a third in a row? Well, it's obviously a special experience when you get to that level. Uh, they're good games. I can honestly say the first time we were there, uh, we had a team of not a player that ever played a playoff game. So we went into that situation, and um, although we played well, I don't think we played um, – free you know like we were tight in that game and uh, you know last year I thought we took a big step we played a very good game we, we lost a good game to a very good Lowell team who ended up in the frozen four um, and this year I mean you know that that leaves a little burning in your gut over the summer losing that game and uh, you know we obviously want to get back to that level but uh, it's going to be tough this year you know, it's, there's, there's a lot of great teams in the league, as I mentioned before, and I, I really think, uh, you know, anyone in our league could finish first or anyone could finish 12th this year. And what are your personal expectations of going into the season? Getting better every day. Uh, you know, I'm really, I really want our young guys to take a step. Um, you know, I want our program to take a step. But you can't focus on the big picture right now. you got to focus on the little picture and just what, what can we do today. You know, we all need to come to the rink and, and say, what can I do today to get better? Uh, including our staff, and make sure we're putting in our best effort every day. All right. Well, thank you. Good luck. Thank you.